Hey everyone, d and Detective here. So for this video, I thought I'd explain a bit about what tools you'll need to start with modding Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Alright, so to be clear here, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, and Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition more or less use the same system when it comes to adding quests, characters, items, and artwork. So many of the things you learn in this tutorial can be applied to those. Though the examples used in my quest tutorial are going to be using file names that may not be present in Baldur's Gate 2 or Ricewind Dale. Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition, despite all the work that went into it, is a bit different. Don't assume everything you see in these tutorials will work for it. Some of it will, some of it won't, and basically, it's complicated. Also, this tutorial is focused on Windows users. You may need an alternative text editor for doing this on Mac or Linux. Now that that is all sorted, you're going to need to do a few things to create your own mods. First, you're going to want to download Near Infinity and a link provided in the description. When you launch it, you're going to be prompted to find the chidin.key file. It should be in the same folder that you installed Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. That will depend on where you bought the product from, but generally, it'll be somewhere in one of your program file folders or in the user folder in the Beamdog library. Then you want to download and install a text editor. I use Context. It's free, and I find it a great option for modding myself. Though technically most text editors will do. Just don't use Microsoft Word. We're looking for a very basic text editor that has no smart quotes, but one that also makes the text readable. So I also don't recommend using Notebook. Then you want to enable a console in your game. This will allow you to use the game's debugging tools. You can find the link on how to do this in the video description. Then you will want to download the latest version of WeDo from the link in the description. Extract the WeDo.exe file and put it in the folder your game is installed in. When you are in the game installation folder, be sure to make a folder titled Override while you're at it. Finally, if you plan to share your mod with others, you need to make a unique prefix that is used at the start of the file names for any of your mods. This is a combination of two numbers, symbols, or letters that you put at the start of your mod files to prevent conflicts between your files and other mods. It's absolutely essential for you to have one if you plan to share your mod with others. The links to blackwormlayer.net in the video description should lead you to where you can go to register this. You can't use the same combination as someone else, and you have to sign up for the forums there in order to get registered. At the time of this video, any prefix starting with U is probably a pretty safe bet, but that may also change. Also, a short ad is going to be probably playing the first time you visit the site. All right, once you have that done, you'll have the very basic elements needed for how to create a mod. I'll be posting a video with this one about how you can make your own quest, so be sure to check that out. Depending on how the video goes, I may expand this to include other videos about modding in the Infinity Engine as well. 